Hello and welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. Today we're going to be talking not about the guns, we're talking about the holster and specifically the Warrior Assault Systems Universal Pistol Holster. Now, <clears throat> this one isn't mine, uh, this is one that I borrowed from a friend in order to do this video because I think there's a few things that people should know about this incredibly popular choice of holster. So, First off, let's go through a couple of the good things and the things that I do like about this. Now, it is genuinely universal. So we've got a 226 here and it, it's got almost no rattle. It, it doesn't really want to move around too much. My friends set it up pretty tight, so that's good. Let's, um, let's get a Beretta, for example. Let's pop that in. Yep, nice, even, even clicks as it goes in. So yeah, again, really good. Uh, the release method as well, you push down with your thumb. Like, yeah, that's pretty intuitive. It can be quite quick as well. Um, I've got my LCP here, so this is absolutely tiny. Uh, let's see if that can get in. It wibbles around, but yeah, it's in there and it's it's not gonna fall out And unless I press this and then out it pops. That's really good. Um, so yeah, I like the... Um, I like the fact that it holds loads of loads of different pistols. I like the I like the release method. I think that's perfectly good. Uh, I like the attachment method. I like the fact that I can put this directly onto a belt, or I can put it onto a plate carrier, and and it's it's going to sit really flush. But with that bit that I like is a bit that I don't like. So what you will find is so this is set up to be uh, really tight. Um, nice and tight on a C226. Uh, the only way to get this pistol out is to press this down. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you can actually remove the mag by pushing this in. So if I just push that in, there you go, mag pops out. That's not good. And I, in the past, have actually used uh, one of these holsters and I've lost mags. So let's test it out with another gun. So the not quite perfect fit Beretta Let's see what happens if I just press this in. Mag drops free. Let's try that again. I'll give it a little move around. And all it would have to do is knock against your hip. And there you go, your mag's out. And as, you, as you're kind of running along, all it has to do is slowly work its way out. And you're down one mag. So, let's try... Um, you Maybe you're thinking, well, actually, yeah, that's obvious, isn't it? Because this part here uh, goes up against the mag release, but it's all right, I run an HK, so I'm not gonna run into that problem. This is the problem with an HK. I have to be very careful as I push this in. There you go. You see the mag? Just drop. You don't even have to knock this. As you put it into the holster, the mag wants to drop out. So I'll do it one more time. So you can see I'm not touching any other part of it. All the way out. Um, ow. Guys, be, um, be really careful if you've got one of these because it's cost me money. It's cost me mags in the past. Uh, the best place for this, for me, was my kit box uh, because I don't actually really want to sell it on to anyone else because they're going to run into the same problems. And this is my friend's one, which I'm obviously going to give back to him but hopefully he's gonna watch this video and stop running it. So that's it, only a short one, but it, it's just a quick warning guys. If you've got one of these, uh, be really careful. The fact that this, this just moves in a tiny bit and you're gonna be dropping mags all over the place. And if this is, you know, for example, like me, I'm not super skinny. I've got, you know, a bit of love handles going on. Like that can very easily just push into there and lead to you losing mags. And if it's on the front of your plate carrier, if you go prone or you lie down, you're going to be putting some pressure on that and you're just going to be leaving your mags where you, where you are laying. So please, 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 if you, if you really want to run one, do, but maybe run it without a mag in the gun or something like that because you're only going to lose them. Hopefully you found this useful, honest, and... Um, Maybe it'll even save you a couple of quid. And until the next time, guys, take care.